I'm Zhen Yijiang. I'm glad to present our work, Doodle, Learning Dense Visual Correspondence from Unsupervised Semantic Aware Flow. In this project, we study the problem of dense visual correspondence. It's about finding the corresponding pixel in your target image for any given pixel in your source image. One approach to this problem is supervised learning from labeled dataset. This approach has limited generalization to non-rigid transformations because most datasets are different camera views of the same rigid scene. To encompass this limitation, we employ uh, unsupervised correspondence learning from in the wild videos. This video naturally contains non-rigid changes across different frames. From these videos, we learn a generic correspondence model, Doodle, which takes as input a pair of RGB images and output the dense correspondence between the images. This generic correspondence model facilitates various robotic applications. In this project, we demonstrate the applications of dense tracking, tracking any pixels using only pairwise correspondence, articulation estimation, estimating articulation structure of objects, and zero shot goal condition manipulation, manipulating objects based on the predicted dense correspondence. There are two main streams of approach to unsupervised dense correspondence learning. The first one is unsupervised optical flow, where dense optical flow is predicted between a pair of neighboring frames. The supervisory signal comes from the warping losses. This method provides fine-grained pixel-level correspondence, but is not robust to large variations. Another branch is self-supervised semantic spatial learning, which employs self-supervised losses like contrastive loss to learn a robust semantic feature, but the correspondence from these features are usually coarse. In our project, we combine the best of both worlds. Given a pair of source and target images, we first use pre-trained semantic feature encoder Dino to extract features of both images. Then we predict the dense flow conditioning on both images and features, and work the target image and feature using the predicted flow. Finally, we train the model to minimize the difference between the sources and the warp targets. In this way, we can achieve both robust and fine-grained correspondence. Now, let me dive in to the details of our model architecture. Given a pair of source and target images, we first use convolutional neural network to extract image features and use a transformer network to correlate the feature and produce correspondence-aware features for both source and target images. Then we compute a cost volume from the features and design a semantic-aware flow estimation module to estimate the flow. The semantic-aware flow estimation utilized the semantic features from the pre-trained Dino encoder. Then we compute a matching candidate mask for each feature point in the source feature, containing the feature points on the target image that has the closest semantic features. By computing the masked softmax on cost volume with matching candidate mask, we are able to utilize the robust coarse correspondence from the pre-trained semantic encoder while estimating fine-grained correspondence. During training, we warp the target image and semantic feature using estimated flow and minimize the distance between the warp targets and the corresponding sources. Warping-based loss provides fine-grained supervisory signal to train our network. Combined with semantic aware flow prediction, we are able to achieve robust and fine-grained correspondence. My issue with work-based loss is that sometimes there, are, there does not exist matchings for some pixels on one image due to factors like occlusion. To address this issue, we introduce visible region discovery technique to find regions that appear in both images. We first extract a maximum similarity map, which contains the maxim maximality of each pixels on the source image. Then we use an off-the-shelf panop panoptic segmentation model, mass transformer, to extract object-level regions and select regions with highest average maximum similarity. The selected regions are used as visible region mask. And we apply the photometric and metric loss only on the positive regions of the visible, visible mask. And this is how we train our doodle. 
Now we'd like to demonstrate the applications of the learned dense visual correspondence model. First, we show how robust fine-grained pairwise correspondence can achieve dense tracking of non-rigid objects. We visualize the correspondence by running PCE on feature space. The tracking result is directly from the pairwise correspondence without the need for temporary locality, and is still robust to the variations. Then we demonstrate the application to articulation estimation. Given a pair of images of an articulated object before and after an interaction, our model predicts dense correspondence, and we use least square to directly estimate articulation axis of these objects. Our model is never trained with ground truth articulation information. Finally, we show how Doodle can achieve zero-shot goal conditional manipulation. Given a current state and goal state, we establish dense visual correspondence and extract action from dense visual correspondence. And we execute this action and collect new observation and establish dense correspondence, extract action, and execute this action again. So iteratively, we can manipulate the object from the start state to the goal state. In conclusion, Doodle learns dense visual correspondence from in the wild videos and achieves robust and fine grained correspondence. This generic correspondence model enables multiple robotic applications. Our code and model are all publicly available. Please scan the QR code for more information. Thank you.